Okay, Joe Biden yesterday hurling profanities at a construction worker from Detroit who questioned him on his stance about guns. Yeah, it really? So when someone engages you, you curse him out? That Michigan uh, uh, mill rights employee, Jerry Wayne, joins us now. Uh, Jerry, appreciate you joining us. Set the scene. When did you realize you'll have a chance to question the former vice president about his stance on guns? Well, I heard when I first came to work that he would be coming in. So I spent uh, a little bit of time gathering my thoughts on a question that I might be able to ask. I had no idea that he was going to be taking questions or if it was going to be that type of scenario. Uh, he started making his rounds, uh, shaking people's hands, and he made it to my way, and I stopped him. I started to ask him a question. He could have easily said, I'm not taking questions, and I would have very respectfully walked away. But he wanted to listen to my question, and I don't think that he was ready for it. Well, it was hard to hear. What did you ask him? Uh, well, I asked him how he was going to be helping get us work, us, us union workers, mm -hmm. work in the future. Uh, we seem to be doing fine at the moment, um, but there's always room for improvement. And I wanted to give him the opportunity to show us where that improvement could come from. And he. And I also asked him. I'm sorry. You go ahead. Uh, I also asked him uh, how he wanted to get the vote of the working man when a lot of us wield arms. We 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 bear arms and. We like to do that. And if he wants to give us work and take our guns, I don't see how he's going to get the same vote. So his message has changed, right? Is that your concern? Because he looked at you and he said, that's not true. I never said that. So we went to the Wayback Machine, as Steve always says, and we found what he said in the past that really concerns you. Watch this. To gun owners out there who say, well, a Biden administration means they're going to come for my guns. Bingo. You're right if you have an assault weapon. The fact of the matter is they should be illegal, period. Look, the Second Amendment doesn't say you can't restrict the kinds of weapons people can own. So that was one of the viral videos, Jerry, that you had seen. Another one is where he talks about uh, putting Beto O'Rourke in charge of guns. We're going to run that, too. Watch. I want to make something clear. I'm going to guarantee you this is not the last year's seat of this guy. You're going to take care of the gun problem with me. You're going to be the one who leads this effort. I'm counting on you. I'm right, and that's the video right there, Jerry, that scared you, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it was a little bit disturbing to see that a politician wants to take away my right to defend myself. So which Joe Biden do you believe? <laughs> Uh, the one that wants to take my guns. <laughs> so you told him you want to, uh, most of these assaults are happening with handguns, and you want to take my AR, he thought 14, but he says means AR 15, we think. So you say he yes. should not touch your AR 15, and it's not an assault weapon. He doesn't need to touch anybody's weapon at all. Jerry, what we need to do is we need to concentrate on teaching people how to respect firearms and how to use them, not take them away.